Welcome back. In this video, I will solve the problems by using the super mesh analysis. In the previous video, I have already discussed about the mesh analysis. Link for those videos are given in the description below. In this problem, we are trying to find the currents by using the mesh analysis. So first we need to assign the current for each loop. For first loop, I will assign in current as I1. For the second loop, I will assign in current as I2. The for third loop, I will assign in current as I3. As per the current direction, we need to assign the sign for each resistance. As per the I1, this is plus, minus, plus, minus. And as per the I2 direction, this is plus, minus, plus, minus plus minus and as per the i3 direction this is plus minus plus minus plus minus now we will try to find the equation by using the kirchhoff's voltage law this is minus 50 plus 10 i1 minus i2 plus 5 i1 minus i3 now we will simplify this equation we will get minus 50 plus 10 i1 minus 10 i2 plus 5 i1 minus 5 i3 is equal to 0. This is i1, this is i1. So this is 15 i1 minus 10 i2 minus 5 i3 is equal to here it is plus. If you take this is in the right side, this is plus 50. So make this as a equation number 1. Next, we will find the equation for the second loop and for the equation for the third loop. But if you observe carefully, we are getting the super mesh concept here. Because 2 ampere current is flowing in between I2 and I3, so we are getting the super mesh. Whenever we will get the super mesh concept, that time we just do one thing that is just remove this branch when you remove this branch then we need to rewrite this circuit whenever we write the re rewrite this circuit we will get something like this what i did just i removed this one branch now as already we have assigned the current for each branch this is same This is I1 and for 10 and 2 ohm resistance, this is I2 and for 5 and 1 ohm resistance, this is I3. We already find the equation for this I1. Now we need to find the equation for this loop. This is plus 10 I2 minus I1, 10 I2 minus I1 plus 2 i2 plus 1 i3 plus 5 i3 minus i1 equal to 0. Now we need to simplify this equation 10 i2 minus 10 i1 plus 2 i2 plus i3 plus phi i3 minus phi i1 is equal to 0. Here we have minus 10 minus phi. So minus 15 i1 plus 10 plus 2. So plus 12 i2 1 and phi. This is 6 i3 equal to 0 make this one as equation number 2 already we find the equation 1 for the first loop and equation for this super mesh loop now we need to find the equation for this branch this is that is a super mesh branch for for this branch 2 ampere current is flowing the direction of 2 ampere current and i2 is the same so 2 ampere current will be written as I2 
minus i3 because if you observe carefully i flowing in the same direction of 2 ampere current but i3 is flowing in opposite direction so we will get 2 is equal to i2 minus i3 so make this one as a equation number 3 okay from equation number 1 2 and 3 we will get i1 i2 and i3 by using the scientific calculator we can find the values of i1 i2 i3 for this one we will select phi as a equation here we have three unknowns so i will select as a true now we will put the equations from equation number one i1 is 15 minus 10 minus 5 50 and from my equation number 2 minus 15 12 6 0 and from the equation number 3 i1 is 0 i2 is 1 i3 is minus 1 and constant is 2 we will get i1 as a 20 ampere I2 as 52.3 ampere, 46 divided by 3 ampere. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.